good morning from Universal, and I guess that's, I don't know. I know it's not, shrimp. yeah, but does he have a name? Okay, well he's outside Bubba Gump Shrimp. I don't know what his name is though. Name. Oh, Shrimpy. <laughs> I know. Well, it's Friday morning, and it is jammed with people. Jam. It's crazy. The line to get in through security was crazy. And there's something going on up here. Drummers. It's just insanity. We're taking a detour because there's no line outside Voodoo Donuts. I was afraid if we wanted to come that there'd always be a line. the double chocolate. Here's the double chocolate. And then would you let us know how it tastes? Sure. Okay. Decent? Mm-hmm. Good. Tastes like a chocolate cake donut. Oh boy. Here's my old fashioned chocolate donut. It's good. I'm not sure if it tastes like it was made today. We're entering over by the lockers today. Um, just because we haven't been over here. So there's bathrooms, lockers, and first aid. Oh, it's so nice under here, out of the sun. It's going to be a hot one. There's the Hello Kitty store. The mystery mobile is parked down the block. <gasps> Scooby Doo is out. Oh man. Well, maybe we'll come back to the Hello Kitty store. There's the Brown Derby hat shop. I've never been in there. We don't usually walk down this way. But we're going to this morning. Homer and Bart. What? <gasps> Homer and Bart. Awesome. Oh, let's go over and see the mystery machine. Did I call it the mystery mobile? Yeah, it's the mystery machine, not the mystery mobile. Oh, Cute. And then there's Schwab's Pharmacy, which if you watch I Love Lucy, you'll know that Lucy sat at Schwab's to try and get discovered, and it didn't work. And they used to have the I Love Lucy store here, but they changed it to the Hello Kitty store. And that was a tough pill to swallow because I love I Love Lucy, but I also love Hello Kitty. So I don't know. I wish that the I Love Lucy store was still here. This is a very cute area. We've never been into the Five and Dine. Yeah. There's Homer and Bart. Oh, maybe this is the store I was looking for. Williams of Hollywood. Okay, let's go in here. Prop 
shop. Mm, hi. Huh. Oh, look at that. Look at that crazy suit of armor. Visual prop, $700. As seen inside Universal Studios. Cool, look at this big dinosaur thing. T-Rex head rock display table as seen in Jurassic Outfitters. Wow. Bates Motel. Yikes. $12. Ew, horror night stuff. Um, I'm not gonna go in here because that grosses me out. I love this I Love Lucy poster. Oh, that's fun. $43, frame not included. What's all back here? Oh, oh. Um, what are these pajamas? $300 pajamas. Oh no, wood mail mannequin. Never mind. My husband is braving the Halloween horror night stuff. I just can't go in there, I will never sleep. No thank you. Do you want a $900 spider mutation? Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, more costume jewelry. I love jewelry. I doubt all this is like from something. Maybe it's just random stuff that they had around. Hmm. An adorable old typewriter. 300. This is crazy, all this cool stuff. Look at this door. $500, large red disaster door. Huh. A huge picture of Audrey Hepburn. Ooh, look at the old telephone. Oh, I love that. It's an old trim line phone. Oh, I wish we had a landline. old-fashioned bags and hats oh look at little uh, random signs in this trunk I guess it's little random signs and pictures Islands of adventure huh I don't know what some of these big pictures are, though. Um, Mardi Gras or Hollywood, yeah, Hollywood Horror, or Halloween Horror Nights. I keep messing up that name. Halloween Horror Nights, I think. Uh, that's something, even with our past, we will never attend the Halloween Horror stuff. Clothes? What could these possibly be from? Comic books. And other magazines. Look at that great big Spider-Man. He is 300. That's huge. That'd be really fun. Look at this. Oh, awesome. Take one. Monster money? What is this? Are these really iPhones? Are these? Look at this. Is this? I mean, obviously it doesn't work or anything. Is that a real? What could they use that for? What are these things? Cyberdyne access panel. Oh, as seen in Terminator 2 3D. What is, 
What's that thing? T23D. Oh, Terminator 2. Robot gun. $3,000 for a robot gun. I want to see what the music's all about. Come on. Let's go check it out. Oh! It is Gru. Look! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our famous friends would love to meet you, so please stick around, and they will be with you shortly. Poor Gru looks pooped. Ah. There's a line of people waiting. Yeah, there's Doc Brown, just strolling, you know. Just strolling. But now this is a Simpson area and we have never been into the Simpsons stuff before. Bye, Doc Brown. Bumblebee something, Bumblebee Man tacos. That's cool, a taco truck? Lard Lad Donuts. Wow. Maybe that's where you get the huge donuts from. Crusty Burger. We are entering London from over here by the Simpsons stuff. So we walked through the Simpsons area and now we're going across this bridge over to London. so far on this trip. But everything closes so early. Oh, I guess everybody's waiting for the dragon. It's better at night. I think we should head down Nocturne Alley. place to cool off. Morgan and Burks is in here too. They have a lot of dark mark clothing and just like darker, creepier stuff. What big I really 
like it in here, even though it's hard to see anything. I think it's really cool. And back out into the daylight. It's buzzing around here today. Busy, busy. I'm scared to see the wait time for Gringotts. Considering the line is out, sort of out the door. I mean, they're moving in, but. Oh, it's only 20 minutes, allegedly. What do you think? I say we go for it. Yeah, okay. If you want to ride the ride, but you're not sure about like the seat, you can test the seat here. statue outside of the Green Gods ride, I never noticed that the column is gold coins. We rode Green Gods and it was good and the weight was not bad at all. And I never get used to the beginning. Sugar Plum Sweet Shop. And I think it connects inside to Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. So we can probably get go to both. Thank you. It's nice and cool in here. Oh no, they're the same. Choco Chalk. Dark chocolate with chili powder. Sugar Quills. Is this a chocolate rat? It's hard. It looks like a rat. Yeah. I don't know, like maybe it's just colored chocolate. Pink coconut ice. I don't think I'd like this, but it's very cute. Glacial, what does it say? No chocolate. Oh, no chocolate in the mice, huh? Okay. Glacial snowflakes, peppermint flavored snowflake melts. Pepper imps. Chocolate frogs. These are great, I love these big boxes. Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. Peppermint Toads, Fudge Flies. A big bar of chocolate. Sugar Plum Sweet Shot Milk Chocolate Bar. Caramel Cobwebs. This is Tongue Tongue Toffee. These are really cool chocolate cauldrons. Wow. You could get Bing Bong Ginger Snaps. Choco balls. Fizzing Whizbees. And here's some stuff in the case. This is what we got last time. We got a pumpkin cake last time and a pumpkin pasty, and those are both really good. 
They have cauldron cakes. Yeah. Okay. Chocolate ones. Yeah, like a cupcakes. No melt ice cream. Fudge. Or chocolate wand. And as I'm done like looking around in here, I wonder where in the world my husband went. Well, let me show you. There he is. <laughs> like a creep just sitting in the corner. And so this goes right into Weasley's Wizard Weezes. Lots of weird but cool stuff in here. Like this thing, I don't know what this thing is. Let's say no. Chinese fortune sticks. Nose biting teacup. Here's the cycling Dolores umbridge. Metal puzzles. Chattering teeth. Giving snack box. I don't know if this one, I think they have an open one somewhere you can check out. You know, poo, puking pastilles. Bubble blowing boy. What is this thing? Ugh. Wait a minute. I'm gonna try it. You put your hand in there, but what do you do with it? It's called a Mega Mouth Hand Puppet. Here's some love potion. Ooh. Cute. What is it? Oh, Love Potion Liquid Sweets. So, I guess it's candy. It's $10. This is a cute chess set. What did you notice? Oh. Most of the brooms, dicks are snapped out. Oh, no. Oh, that stinks. Cute pieces, though. We're in quality Quidditch supplies now. Just taking a gander. Ooh, I have this t-shirt. I would like a broom, but I don't think they actually sell brooms here. Where else can we go in? Ooh, Spindle Warps Wool Shop. It's actually connected to Ollivander's. Okay, whose one is this? Xenophilius love good. Oh. Can we see Mandungus Fletcher? Yeah, his was actually classier than I expected. Really? Does it look stolen? Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Who else should we look at? George Weasley? Oh. Hmm. This is Kingsley Shacklebolts. Wow. That looks like a, you know when you eat like a chicken wing and there's a space? That's what that reminds me of. Wow. That's different. We're popping into the Magical Menagerie. Thank you. 
They have these little magical creature figurines and I've seen these before at Barnes & Noble. Here they are, 37. What are these little things though? Nano blocks. Oh, they're like Legos. Those are $19 for this teeny little set. Oh, that's a lot. And here is a dragon. Oh, he's ugly. But he's so ugly, he's cute. He's 22. Here's Fang merchandise. And you can get a collar for your dog. Oh, okay, it says Magical Menagerie. There's Crookshanks. Oh, I want to take Crookshanks home. Crookshanks is 25. Don't you want to come home with me? Yes, he does. Weird. Here's the usual stuffed animals that they have. We're heading up the little stairs next to Gringotts. And we can't go any farther than right here. It's really neat to just hang out up here. Sometimes it's a good shady spot, but not really today. Excellent people watching spot though. This is TNT Twill Fit and Tattings. Made to measure clothing. Huh. Is Scribbleus attached to Wiseacres? Ooh. Quills and ink. Black ink is 26. So yes, Scribbleus attaches to Wise Acres. It's a Harry Potter Universal jacket. It's very plain. that we've seen before. Oh, butterbeer stuff. I was probably here last time too and I missed it. Oh, this is cute. I like this mug a lot. 22. Look at how cute this mug is. Hmm. Butterbeer mug. I like that. is over at the hopping pot getting us a butterbeer and I'm gonna hang out over here because Celestina Warbeck should be coming out soon. Thank you for tuning in to the Wizarding Wireless Network. And now, a live performance direct from Diagon Alley featuring that musical marvel, that delectable diva, the spectacular singing sorceress herself, Celestina
We're heading over to Men in Black because it's like a 10 or 15 minute wait and we have never ridden this ride before. So I think it's supposed to be like Buzz Lightyear maybe where you shoot stuff and ride in the little cart. Like it's not a thrill ride. I hope that's it. So we'll find out. Men in Black Alien Attack. We're gonna have lunch at the Bumblebee Man's Tacos. And here's the menu. And are we okay to get the carne asada? Okay, so we're gonna share the steak tacos. Here are the steak tacos from the Bumblebee Man taco truck and they come with uh, two tacos per order and a side of chips. And for this it was $8.99 so with tax $9.58. Let's see how they taste. I really like them. What do you think? Yeah, they're good. Those are some Happy Ducks. They found a piece of pretzel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 